With the annual Knights of Lights in town, the St. Augustine Fire Department has their hands full this holiday season. In lieu of the recent mass shootings this past year, the St. Augustine Fire Department is one of hundreds of fire departments in the country that have bought body armor as a means of protections from active shooters. Shortly after the Pulse nightclub shooting, there was a fundamental shift in the industry. We do want to update you on the breaking news out of Orlando, the terror attack on a gay nightclub. Another community is in disbelief, shocked by devastating violence, this time at that Florida high school on Valentine's Day. The fire service traditionally is very multifaceted, multi-tooled. You have to think of us as, um, as sort of the Gerber or multi-tool of community response nationwide. Every time that there's an issue or an incident that pops up that folks don't know who should deal with it, more often than not, it ends up being the fire service that steps to the plate and says, okay, we will adopt this or we will figure out a way to remedy this for the community. A year ago, roughly, or earlier this year actually, um, the National Fire Protection Association, or NFPA, came out with the first national standard for body armor. So NFPA is what we use as a guide. They are sort of the uh, industry best practices, standards, and regulations for the fire service across the country. I think any, any, one, of the, any one of our personnel that, that signed up to do this job, you, you have to make a conscious decision to to respond and, and enter a, a hot zone, what we call it, like a danger area um, with law enforcement and there be a, a possible active shooter. So having the, the equipment to make the job a little bit better and safer sure is a comforting factor. Um, and, and that there was no cost spared really in the equipment. So we got the best equipment that you could get um, as far as the protection goes. We respond to all kinds of emergencies on a daily basis, from medical emergencies to uh, vehicle accidents. Um, you know, if they don't know who to call, they call the fire department. So we know a little about a lot. I mean, I'm sad that I'm having to provide body armor for my firefighters, but it's the reality of the world that we live in. It's just another layer of protection that I feel that they need just for the unexpected. I hope they never use it. I hope it sits on the truck, you know, and if it does, that's fine. I don't have any issues with it. In the meantime, they'll continue to train with how to deploy it properly. And you know, if they do need to use it, they'll be prepared.